In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your Xiaomi or Redmi or Pocophone from a Chinese ROM which looks like this with all the bloatware and all the Chinese text that you don't understand where you cannot read any single thing to a very minimalistic look which is what you want from a global ROM. And the good thing is you are always going to get the latest OTA updates and guess what you are not going to break your phone in the process I'm going to show you step by step how to achieve a similar look like I have on my phone which is a Redmi K40 or you could call it a Poco F3 coming up next have you ever felt are you listening damn hi guys welcome to another edition of cyber reviews if you want to avoid the boring part of the video i'm going to have timestamps so you can jump straight into the part you want i recently bought a redmi k40 from china and for the very first hour after booting the phone i was very very disappointed though i selected english when setting up the device lots of apps and settings were still in chinese and i don't understand a single word of Chinese. I was beginning to regret buying the Chinese version and not the global version. So I started searching for how to install a global ROM. But the comments scared me a lot. Some people said they had tried methods and break their phones. And by breaking their phones, what that means is that they were unable to ever use their phones again, like it wouldn't turn on. And I paid $500 for this phone. 12 gigs of ram and 256 gigs of storage is the variant i have on my redmi k40 so i wasn't going to play or attempt such a very risky thing now there are different ways to do this first of all you need to select english when you are setting up your phone duh <laughs> that's the basic thing you can do when you are setting up your phone next there are some apps you can uninstall and some you just can't i hate it that you can't uninstall certain apps go ahead and remove all those bloats where that you don't need which you are allowed to uninstall most of those apps are suitable for people who live in china and i don't i am sure you don't either else why would you be watching this video next you would notice that you don't have google apps like Google Play Store, Gmail, Google Maps, and all that. So make sure to go to the Get App app, which comes with your device, and search for Google Play Store. That's very critical. Once you have Google Play Store installed on your phone, you can go crazy installing all your favorite apps you love. So you can install your Gmails, you can install your Google Maps, and any other application which is on the Android Store. Now to get this amazing minimalistic look I have on my phone, let's do a bit of customization. You need to download a launcher. The good thing about Poco Launcher is that it looks pretty similar to the MIUI theme which you get with the Chinese ROM, but everything is now in English whereas the MIUI theme was in both English and Chinese including the screen on the left of the home page and with poco launcher you can hide all the other apps that you were not able to delete leaving you with an app drawer which is devoid of clutter so to hide those apps you you know you swipe right twice quickly on your app drawer and then it would allow you to be able to create a folder where you can hide apps you don't want to see so once you use a pin or your fingerprint to um, create that folder you can just select the apps you don't want to see and leave only the apps that you want to see which is very very handy next let's change the wallpaper to get the beautiful wallpaper i have here i downloaded a wallpaper app called wally wally is a very fantastic app i use it on both my android device and ios device and it helps you to choose from so many different kinds of wallpapers now i am a lover of minimalism so i downloaded this minimalist wallpaper which is called skyline or you can download any others so this is one way that you can do this and you can already see that your phone is beginning to look way better than when you bought it but you can take it a step further and download a minimal launcher as well i'm using niagara launcher which i love so much as at the time of making this video it's completely free to use 
Now, the last way to make your phone look like a global ROM is to just transfer all your apps, configuration, and media from your old phone to your new phone. To do this, you download an app called Me Mover on both devices, and this works for both Android devices and iOS devices. And if, like, you're moving from one Xiaomi device to another, then it's even easier. So one of the devices will be the recipient and one will be the sender. And you can just follow the on-screen prompts and it will transfer all your data. So if you are somebody like who is a phone reviewer or a tech reviewer who constantly reviews phones, you don't necessarily need to be downloading Genshin Impact. All these games are huge file sizes, okay? So you can just move all your apps, your pictures, your data, your configurations. And once you do so, even if you have like a launcher installed on your previous phone, it carries that launcher and applies it to your new device. And you have this very beautiful look. Nobody would even believe that this was the phone which had the Chinese ROM installed on it. Try these tips and tricks and let me know how it works for you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, a thumbs up will be massively appreciated. If you're new to my channel, I do mobile phone reviews, mobile app reviews, and I bring to you affordable gadget reviews to help you make an informed decision when you're making your next purchase. So if you like that kind of content, please click on the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you do not miss any episode. Thanks, Bibri.